and welcome. Now this video is about HMV moving again. Now I've worked at HMV longer than I can remember. I know I had hair. Back in the days when VHS came out. Okay, so yeah, back in the day when I had hair. Okay, where are we going with this? We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. Where's my hat? because the light reflects off my head. Yeah, it is a bit weird, wacky, but wonderful. Right, okay, so a few years ago, HMV was owned by a different company and it went from two floors to one and we're talking about the Gateshead store. Now, as I talk, let's overlay it back then, probably still had the same hat on, yes, I probably did. And it was big signs everywhere, closing down HMV left, right and center. And it was a big place. I've just walked away from the camera, but yeah, there's some overlays going there. Hello, I'm back. There are those signs everywhere, HMV, HMV. And you know, there's been a few ups and downs, some blips on the radar, and, and 100 years of HMV, like congratulations, HMV. Like 100 years. And you know, it's still strong, still powering on, still evolving as always. But recently, sorry, I had to take a muscle. But recently, we had to move in the Metro Centre because the new Metro Centre owners are also changed hands and they wanted to move stuff around. So this is the brand new HMV. So it doesn't feel like that long ago that we actually moved anyway, you know what I mean? It's just like, whoop, we were packing down the old store and now we're in the new store. And over the couple of years, we've had some great times. We've had some fantastic live and local artists like Mitch Laddie, Steve Pledger, Liam Carr, Beth McCary, Elizabeth Little, and the one and only Scott Michael Cavigan live in store. We also had Glenn Malpass artwork. We also had the guys from Viz in. So we were having some great times. This has some big laughs, we've done loads of different promos. And the new owners, the release, like the whole owners like pushing towards creativity, Instagram, you know, massive online presence, showing you who you are, passion for the product, passion for what it is, passion of like, I still love VHSs. Who better to come talk to you about a film when you go, have you got that film? What is it? Do you wanna play the guessing game? And they like blow a customer's mind where, yeah, I know what you're talking about, I've seen it, it's there. But anyway, times change. And as I say, we had to evolve and everyone's like moving. Game moved, flannels moved, and then we were the last one. We were like on, like Batteries Not Included. Do you remember that film? Sorry for the jump cutting onto a different camera. I mentioned Batteries Not Included. It wasn't where I wanted it to be. It's actually, I mean, this is what happens when you work at HMV for years of your life. You know what I mean? Let's see if you're going to be bad or good. Do you remember Batteries Not Included? Yeah. Do you remember Batteries Not Included? Yeah, that movie. Yeah, batteries not included. We were like the last, it was like boom, 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 boom. Like we were the last one on the blocks, all the workmen were happening on the other side. I'd rather listen to Taylor Swift all day than that death metal band next door. Honestly, it's gonna be like Aerosmith. They're gonna start coming through the wall soon. So this is goodbye to HMV Gateshead version two and getting ready for HMV Gateshead version three. I hope you enjoyed this music montage, which just shows you how much great time we had. Even though it was hard work, it's probably the best job in the world. Enjoy the video. So today is the last day the shop is open. And then we're gonna move it all, you know. It doesn't feel like five minutes ago since we shut the last shop, but again, it was a while ago, but it's out of the times, isn't it?
Central and here isn't it, Casper? Do you rave? I made that graphic years ago. Nintendo 3DS 3D. Been looking for that for ages. What's happened to you? Fuck, shit and dislocated my toe. How did that happen? Pallet truck over it. Has <laughs> Paul Ray got something to do with this? Paul stopped um, to help Casper, and I was going backwards, and I wasn't looking where I was going. And basically crashing the ball and we oh, wheel of my pallet truck went over my toe. And there's no CCTV because we've took it out. Is it not? That's good. <laughs> <laughs> So, did you enjoy that? Go back to work on Tuesday, so obviously we're going to start the second part of this. And then obviously the montage. I love making music and passion. Again, for years I think with the older companies that weren't too passionate about it, it was very... I mean, my arms, look at my arms. At one point we had to hide that you had tattoos. <laughs> I was like, hello? <laughs> Can you get me that? No, I've got a tattoo. It's just there. <laughs> but no, um, over the years... Um, I, when I started digging out some of this footage from the archives of the times, especially the night shifts when we were, the old shop was moving, um, I actually found a clip of me talking about one of the scariest moments in my life. And I'm going to jump back five or six years ago now to me talking about the day I nearly died at work. Right here, right, right here, right this spot here. It was 10, it's only 10, 11, 12. It's half one in the morning, super dry, it's having an absolute rave across the road, but uh, I mean, died right here, right in the spot, was it this? Ant was next to us, I was talking here, I was still trying to say a Christmas, I was I actually drove all the way home, and that's when I got a massive uh, operation of my gut. My appendicitis had popped, believe it or not. I drove all the way home and I was in an absolute agony and I was still like trying to serve customers and I, all I remember was like 24 hours later getting rolled over in the hospital bed and jabbed in the butt with morphine. Then I woke up about two days later. It took about six months to recover and um, four months to come back to work and I struggled for about two or three years after that with stuff like that but yeah, right there. And as you can see in the background this store is now closing so nice to share that story about nearly dying. <laughs>
take them to the next level, nearly dying. So yeah, that was a long time ago. If there's any blips and blips in that, is I've tried to make this video PG and as 12 as possible. Normally, I, I, I don't know, I'm from the northeast, aren't I? Normally, I swear quite a lot. It just, But when I'm at work, I'm fine. Do you know what I mean? But as soon as you're outside that door, it's like, beep. So anyway, thank you very much for watching this. Make sure you come and see our new shop, the HMV shop, which is located upstairs next to Primark in the Metro Centre, coming to you at the end of September, going into October. So Christmas, you know, when your wife and everyone wants to go to Primark, we're right next door. Or if you're hitting the pictures, the audience just down the road, make sure you drop in and say hi. But for now, my name's Stephen Mason, along with the HMV gang of Gateshead. There we go. Thanks for oh, Gateshead Metro Center. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now. And now.